Welcome back everyone to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your host Joe and today on this episode we're gonna go uh, dive for some taco. Uh, I guess the rest of the world they call it octopus but um, I'm actually gonna put a lot of still frames in this video uh, hopefully to give you the taco here in Hawaii we call it the taco eye. Um, basically it's it's your ability to see taco and the houses that they live in. So what you're gonna look for is any kind of changes in the raw color or depressions or even color changes. But I'm gonna try to put that and uh, get you set on that. Uh, on the second section of the catch and cook, which I know you guys love, um, I'm gonna have my friend Nuwanu uh, do a catch and cook. He's gonna show you how to clean and cook taco in an Instapot, which is the fastest way I've ever seen it done. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, let's go holo holo.
What's up guys? Hope you like the catching side of the video. But right now we're gonna get into our catch and cook. I'm gonna have my friend Nuwanu uh, show you how to clean the taco and cook it in Insta Pot. But just to let you know that Nu is a huge individual. He's probably like 6'4", 300 pounds, and he has oven mitts for hands. So the taco I caught is actually pretty decent size, but in his oven mitt hands, they look kind of small. But yeah, they're all good. All right, go check him out. Yep, the head. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. Flip the head. Oh yeah, guts all over the pants. That sucks, so I wasn't, I, I purposely watched them. That's <laughs> ah, right. Alright, are you just ripping off the guts? Separating the guts from the head? Are you? Yeah, I'm just filming oh, it. Oh, I thought you were taking a picture. No, I'm just filming it. Gotcha. Try not to break all the ink sacks. If there's a three prong hole in it, you'll find it. When you put pressure, go on it. Put down it. You know, just cut out the head, moving the eyes, mm -hmm. snorkel, oh, right away. Eyes are off. Normally it goes right here. Right, with the beak. He's just pulling the beak out. Loosen the connective tissue and it will pull them out. Alright. That works. And we're up. Cool. That easy. So, <clears throat> I think someone else is saying. They cut it and pry it open. Make it. All right, after cutting out the head and all that, we just salt it, rub it, clean it, get the slime off, throw it in a what is this? Instapot in there. Do you have any water? Nope. Really, no water? Nope. Even a little bit? Nope. Okay, no water. You can. And uh, 15 beer. minutes. Some guys put beer. Okay. All right, close it up. How long? 15 minutes? 15 minutes. But Okay, 10 to 15 minutes depending on size. All right, under what setting? Me? Uh, you got to be manual. Cool. Shoot, sounds good. All right. Here, when the thing's done, uh, you can just manual release right here let out the steam or let out the pressure that way you can remove the cover this pin should go down and then you can open the cover don't remove the cover unless if that pin goes down so you don't want steam in your face all right yeah fastest taco ever cooked yeah <laughs> Yeah, right now we're just gonna rinse it off, uh, remove some of the skin just to just for more aesthetics more than anything. Cause we're gonna uh, actually cut this up real quick into bite-sized pieces, dust it with a little cornstarch, salt, pepper, and uh, deep fry it. It'll be just like uh, calamari, but even better. How's the double glove working? Better? Way better than using your hand. Alright. <laughs> so right now it's just, you could cold bath it, but we're just keeping it hot. This is a quick way, just rinse it off, take off the skin. Alright. We just want to keep some of it hot to one day. There you go. Thank you again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing. Special thanks goes out to Nuu for cleaning and cooking the taco and showing us how to use the Instapot. And um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please um, please comment below and uh, I'll try to respond. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And always, thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
All right, remember to fish safe and fish with Aloha. See you on the next one.